My expertise is trying to study stress, but specifically stress in wild animals. There are essentially five different things that cause stress in a wild animal. The first are predators. The second one is bad weather. The third thing that affects wild animals is famine. The fourth one is social effects. And in wild animals, we're basically talking about animals harassing animals. With humans, it's people harassing people. If anything, the pandemic has decreased the possibility of this being a major stressor for us. I mean, in fact, some of these stay-at-home orders that are throughout the country have decreased the number of human interactions. However, we might in fact start to see stress from a lack of human connection, because we know that humans are a social species, and so social isolation can be a stressor of itself. Now, the final and the fifth aspect of stress in wild animals is infectious disease. Now, one of the things we learn about wild animals is that illness creates stress when they are ill. And humans are a bit different than that. Not only are humans stressed when they're ill, but also the threat of being ill can create uh, stress as well. And if you think about the things that cause stress, there's two features of things in our environment that can cause stress. Uncertainty and unpredictability. And if you think about the number of things that, are, that we've been facing for the last few months, things like, what are my chances of getting this disease? If I do get it, what are my chances of survival? Do I have a high risk? Will I still have a job? All of these have increased in the last few months and are creating stress. All of these are major, unpredictable, and uncontrollable events that can cause stress. But I think what this pandemic has reminded us is that we're not so far removed from the wild as we think. We like to think of ourselves as being very different. We like to talk about our caveman ancestors as if they were so primitive and we're so much more sophisticated. But what I think we've learned is that the gap between us and wild animals is actually quite thin.